The heartwarming scene unfolded at Clarence House as a young boy eagerly stepped up to assist Major Ole Plunkett. Queen Camilla's equerry, in the annual tradition of adorning a Christmas tree with a sword. Amidst a festive reception for seriously ill children, the royal residence was abuzz with cheer and joy, marking the commencement of the holiday season. Major Plunkett, entrusted with the customary task of placing decorations on the tree using the tip of his sword, received an unexpected but enthusiastic helping hand from Yasser Ibrahim, a brave and spirited four-year-old guest. Yasser fearlessly joined in, confidently positioning the ornament on the sword's tip before it found its place among the tree's branches. A wave of cheers filled the room as this cherished tradition was once again completed for the year. Yasser, who is deaf and battles sickle cell disease, delighted in making several attempts at adorning the tree and even found fascination in the equerry's blade. However, Camilla, ever watchful, intervened with a gentle warning, careful of the sword. Despite this, the young boy's day was filled with joyous moments, culminating in a high five from Her Majesty herself. Zainab Abubakar, Yasser's mother, expressed immense gratitude, saying, it's a big honor for us to be here, and we are so happy. Camilla annually invites children supported by Helen and Douglas House and Roald Dahl's marvelous children's charity to partake in this special event at Clarence House. The children, treated royally for the day, lent their hands in decorating the library's Christmas tree. To heighten the excitement, they were surprised by a visit from none other than Father Christmas himself, who paid his respects to Camilla and received a warm welcome. The queen, radiant in a festive green velvet dress by me plus M, jovially engaged with the children, exclaiming, Father Christmas, I spy, before mingling with her young guests. Clarence House exuded a festive charm bedecked with an extravagant Christmas tree adorned with delicate ornaments. Among the delighted attendees was eight-year-old Dottie, a patient at Helen and Douglas House, who, along with her parents Liz and Ken Taylor, presented Her Majesty with a hand-painted Christmas card, exuberantly reveling in the momentous occasion. Grace Howes, supported by the Roald Dahl Charity, also offered the Queen a Christmas card, captivating her with her pretty pink dress. Amidst the joyous exchanges, Grace posed an important query to the Queen, did Father Christmas get my letter? To which the Queen reassuringly replied, he always does. In the dining room, Dottie and her fellow young guests relished a lunch comprising bangers, mash, and assorted sweet treats. Outside, the royal garden awaited with two reindeer, Dancer and Blitzen, providing an enchanting experience for the children. Camilla displayed a natural affinity with the reindeer, delighting in feeding them by hand. Throughout their visit, the children were treated to the melodious tunes of Christmas carols performed by the band and bugles of the rifles. Lance Corporal Edward Watts, 29, showcased his musical prowess, playing festive melodies using instruments ingeniously crafted from a hose pipe attached to a watering can and post horn. Charlotte O'Neill, a mother from Birmingham, cherished the experience, stating, it means everything. It is a once in a lifetime opportunity. So many happy memories. Her son, Oscar Ray, who battles severe epilepsy and learning disabilities, Enjoy placing decorations on the tree with the sword, meeting Father Christmas, and conversing with the Queen, leaving the family feeling truly blessed. Addressing the guests, the Queen expressed her delight, mentioning, I think this is the E-team here we have had this party, and I can tell you from everybody at Clarence House, it really does mean the beginning of Christmas. We look forward to it every year. She also extended her gratitude to the remarkable children's charities for their invaluable support to parents and their remarkable children, making their lives easier. The heartwarming event at Clarence House, rimming with joy and festive spirit, stands as a testament to the royal family's commitment to uplifting the spirits of children in need. This heartening celebration arrives amidst a busy period for the royals, with the king leading his family in a show of unity following a challenging week of royal revelations. The grand annual diplomatic reception at Buckingham Palace was a spectacular affair, attended by over 500 dignitaries alongside Queen Camilla and the Prince and Princess of Wales. This exclusive event brought together the most senior members of the British royal family for an evening of elegance and diplomatic engagements. 
In a moment of unity, the four prominent members of the royal family posed together for a photograph before the lavish white tie and tire as affair commenced. Her Majesty, adorned in a stunning cream embroidered evening gown by Fiona Clare and the iconic girls of Great Britain and Ireland Tara, emanated regality. Kate, equally graceful, donned a shimmering Jenny Packham gown complemented by her beloved lovers, not Tara. The diplomatic reception serves as a tribute to the substantial diplomatic corps based in London and provided their majesties with an opportunity to interact with representatives from various countries accredited to the court of Street James. However, amidst the glamour and ceremony, recent controversies stemming from Omid Scobie's book created a buzz. Reports suggested that Meghan, Duchess of Sussex, mentioned two family members, including the King himself and Kate, Duchess of Cambridge, in letters addressing unconscious bias. Buckingham Palace remained silent publicly, although aides hinted at the King and his advisors exploring legal options in response to these unverified claims. Despite this, the royal family found solace in the supportive public response and contemplated allowing this sentiment to speak for itself. Kate's attire at the event, a mesmerizing Jenny Packham gold Georgia gown, valued at around 5,000 pounds and embellished with sequins, had previously made an appearance at the wedding reception of Crown Prince Hussein of Jordan and Princess Rajwai in June 2023. The Princess of Wales adorned herself with the iconic Cambridge lovers Not Tara, a wedding gift to Princess Diana, along with the royal family order and striking Greville diamond chandelier earrings and homage to Her Late Majesty. Camilla exuded elegance in a cream-embroidered evening gown by Fiona Clare, enhancing her allure with the girls of Great Britain and Ireland Tara in the garter sash and star and family order. The diplomatic reception provided an opportunity for the king, his heir, and their spouses to meet and greet diplomats, ambassadors, and high commissioners affiliated with the court of St. James. As the head of state, the king plays a pivotal role in UK diplomacy, supporting the Foreign Office's work domestically and internationally. This event also marked the first personal interaction between the King and his son's family, following the recent controversies surrounding the Duke and Duchess of Sussex. Insiders reveal that the family wouldn't rush their carefully considered decisions regarding this matter. Earlier in the day, the royal family engaged in various public engagements, Prince William surprised shoppers by selling copies of The Big Issue at a Tesco in Hammersmith, London, alongside magazine seller Dave, whom he had met before and exchanged Christmas cards with. Dave expressed appreciation for William's kindness and genuine care for the homeless. Simultaneously, Princess Kate met with a young girl named Ella Moth, whose space team designs for a children's day surgery unit were inspired by her late father. Ayla, whose father succumbed to brain cancer in 2021, felt overwhelmed by the prospect of her design being displayed for other children. The princess, who serves as a patron of Evelina London, comforted Ella and appreciated her artistic contributions to the new £55 million facility designed to alleviate the stress of multiple hospital visits for children. The evening at Buckingham Palace, coupled with the day's diverse engagements, showcased the royal family's dedication to their public roles and their commitment to charitable causes alongside the diplomatic responsibilities they uphold. Dear friend, if you like everything new about the royal family and don't want to miss all the novelties, subscribe to our channel and like it. By doing so, you take part in our development. We work for you.